Hello millennials, welcome to my channel and this is the Learn English with me video. So today we will learn a new topic which is the prepositions. Okay, so let's define what is a preposition. So a preposition is a word used to link nouns, pronouns, or phrases to other words within a sentence. They act to connect the people, objects, time, and locations of a sentence. Prepositions are usually short words and they are normal, normally placed directly in front of a noun. A nice way to think about preposition is as the words that glue a sentence together or a word that connect, connect a sentence together. They use this by expressing um, position and movement, time, and how an action is completed. Indeed, several of the most frequently used English words such as in, on, and at are prepositions. Actually, there are uh, many types of prepositions. We have the prepositions of time, prepositions of place, prepositions of movement, prepositions of direction, and etc. But in this video, we will only focus one which is the prepositions of time. So now we'll go directly to the prepositions of time. So basic examples of time prepositions include in, on, and at. They are used to help indicate when something happened, happens, or will happen. So let's have an example. I was born in July 1982. I was born on July 4, 2005. I was born at exactly 2 a.m. So what really are the differences of those three sentences I have given to you? So now we will tackle one by one the in, on, and at so that we will really understand them. Okay, so let's define them. In is for a long period of time on for specific days and at for exact time so let's uh, tackle them one by one and let's begin with in we used in for months years and past or future so example i am going to london in july in this sentence we use in as our time preposition because um, uh, the, the time mentioned here is July, which is um, meaning to say in this sentence that someone will still going on, uh, to London in July. So still um, that someone is waiting for a long time or a long period of time for him or her to go to London. Okay, so is it clear? So let's have another example. I love going to Paris in the spring. So, in this sentence, it says that someone uh, loves uh, going to Paris in the spring. So, it was not really specified uh, the time and the day, but it's the uh, a period of time, spring. Okay? So, it's, it's, it, it is a long period of time. And lastly, third example, Mark was born in 1984. So in this sentence, it is very clear that we should use in as our uh, our time preposition because the 1984 it's it's a year, right? So it, it wasn't mentioned here the specific if when really in 1984 Mark was born. It was just uh, mentioned here Mark was born in 1984. So it's a long period of time. Okay, I guess. Okay, so let's proceed to the next, which is the on. 
we used on for specific days, dates, and special days. So here it is, specific days, dates, or special days. Let's have an example number one. I have a meeting on Friday. So someone ha or has a meeting on Friday. So it was already or it is already specified that the meeting will happen on Friday. Okay. Second example. My exam is on March 23rd. My exam is on March 23rd. So another obvious, obvious uh, example that an exam will be held on March 23rd. It was specified that the exam will really happen on March 23rd. Okay, there, there is a specific days or specific date. Alright, so let's proceed to our third example. I visited my grandparents on Christmas Day. So here, uh, the time mentioned is on Christmas Day. So, it is very obvious that we only have one Christmas Day, which is on December 25. That's why we used on as uh, our, our time preposition because it was specified that someone visited his or her grandparents on Christmas Day. Okay, so nuggets. Alright, so let's proceed to our last, which is the at. So we used at for the time of the day. So time of the day. So take note. So let's have an example. Number one, I have a meeting at 9 a.m. So I have a meeting at 9 a.m. So it was really specified here that the meeting will happen at 9 a.m. So a uh, specific time of the day, 9 a.m. Okay, second, the shop closes at midnight. Still, midnight is a specific time of the day. Even we, we have the uh, morning, afternoon, noon, midnight. So, it is a specific... Mm, I'm sorry, it is specified here that the shop closes at midnight. Okay. So third example, Jane went home at lunchtime. So again, in this sentence, it is uh, specified that Jane went home at lunchtime because in uh, in one day we have breakfast time, lunch time, dinner time. So uh, it is specified here that Jane went home at lunchtime. So that's why we used at in this sentence. So understood. Okay, very good. So before we'll end, let's have first our recap. So again, in preposition of time, we usually use in, on, and at. And let's uh, and let's remember always that in, uh, we use in for a long period of time, on for specific days, and at for exact time. Okay, so before I end this video, millennials, uh, I hope you've learned something again from this video and I hope uh, you will not forget to share and like this video. But this time, since I'm done with my part, now it is your turn. So I have three sample sentences below in the, in the description box. So all you have to answer, uh, to do is to, just to answer those sentences there, okay? So I have also given their uh, choices for you to answer. All right. So before I say bye bye, so I would like to request uh, everyone to please subscribe my channel, Melchior D Aliado. Just uh, click subscribe click the like button and of course don't forget to ring the bell button and share this video to everyone to your family and friends for you to be able to share also the knowledge and learnings okay so i guess that's it for this video the learn english with me video